everybody. My name is Anil Thomas and today I'm going to share with you some important tips how to deal with chemistry for your upcoming NEET and upcoming JEE examination. So take your paper, your pen and just be ready. Uh, pause this video as many times as you want to. Take down the notes and make sure to follow them. We believe that if you follow these tips, these tricks or these uh, understandings what we have about chemistry, your chemistry will be a lot more easier. So ready? Let's get to the first one. Organic chemistry, inorganic chemistry and physical chemistry or chemistry, whole of chemistry is uh, packed and distributed amongst these three areas. Which is the most important? Do not get into that. Which is the least important? Do not get into this also. Understand how these questions come for you. Understand the pattern and work with the pattern. So don't get into your organic, hai, inorganic, hai, mushkil, hai, 32 percent, 20 percent, leave do you Leave all these mind games uh, of analyzing these stuff and get into a concept driven technique to learn. So the first thing that I want to tell you is to learn and understand redox reactions very well. Because the moment you understand redox reactions, you are in a position to understand how a lot of reactions take place. Because redox reactions are conceptually in its place for you to understand how a lot of other reactions can proceed. So first tip which I'm going to share with you is to work very hard on redox reaction more than the chapter itself because it's going to be a conceptual backbone for you to understand why a lot of reactions take place the way it takes place. The second thing that I want to share with you is to learn the mechanisms of all possible reactions because once you learn the mechanism you can understand why the bond breaks, when it breaks, what's the structure, why it happens, is it a one-step reaction, is it a two-step reaction, is it slow, is it fast, do you need an intermediate, do you need a reagent etc. So that's number two. The second thing that you will remember is that you must know the mechanism of every reaction because that will help you understand chemical reactions in a much better way. In coordination compounds, there's a third thing that I'm sharing with you. In coordination compounds, I want you to learn a uh, color of the coordination compounds, hybridization over there of coordination compounds, optical isomerism. Now, these are very important things because they've come in the examination and there's a particular pattern in which these questions come. So this is number three. Do not miss them. Work with them because they come in a definite pattern. And of course, you're learning the concepts, right? Not the answers, not a particular MCQ. The depth of the concept over here. Hydrogen peroxide is another important thing that they've, they've, they have this, some kind of liking towards hydrogen peroxide. They ask these questions on hydrogen peroxide. When you learn classification of elements, I want to tell you that you must learn effective nuclear charge and atomic size and learn this across the periodic table because a lot of give reasons, a lot of conceptual analysis would be up to you and it would be ready for you once you learn this atomicity, atomic number and nuclear charge, effective nuclear charge. And once you learn these two parameters, it becomes very easy for you to pick up ionization potential and electron gain enthalpy because they're connected now, you see. So uh, when we learn of uh, topics and concepts which are very factual, okay, uh, we'll have factual questions, we'll have factual data. So what will you do? You will learn the NCRT thorough for that, right? So for example, metallurgy, for example, uh, environmental chemistry. Now you have some bonus. Your bonus is what? Polymers, chemistry in everyday life and biomolecules. This is like bonus. The time that you take to study this as compared to the time that you take to study electrochemistry or thermodynamics is much less. So do not leave them. You will get one theory or some concept or some people coming and telling you, Chhodna, so it's easy. I'm saying you do not leave it. It's easy. Therefore, it's scoring. That's bonus rounds which comes to you, you know. Now, organic compounds containing oxygen is very important. Pick this up like alcohols and phenols and aldehydes and ketones and ethers and esters and carboxylic acids because this forms a whole chunk, right? And you can use them to go back and forth because the chemical preparation of one would be the chemical property of another. If you get a good handle of this, you can get the reagents and you will know how to do it. So compounds containing oxygen will have a lot of interconnectivity. Make sure that you, are, you have a great handle on them, a great handle on them. Another important thing that you should remember is know all the damn reagents which are there because every reagent will have a peculiar property like a metal reagent, like a nickel, like, like Tolan's reagent or Felling's or Grignard's reagent. They all have a particular role to play. 
Once you learn the role of the reagents, you are again in a position to pick up why this reaction happens in that particular way. So if you, if you connect redox, mechanism and reagents, you have got the concept of a chemical reaction. Don't miss on the concept. Many children buy heart, right? that is useless, that's temporary. If you get the handle on the concept, so do not miss what? Compounds containing oxygen and again the the multiple concept questions where they will ask you A gives you B gives you C gives you D and they can connect four or five chapters in this right they can connect these four or five chapters and how will you get good marks and how will you make sure that you're getting it right you can make sure that you're getting it right provided you know the concepts right and in place so when you're doing numericals it's important that you know the formula you it's important that you know the conversion the conversions are very important see in chemistry now the calculations are not big enough or it's not very complicated where do you lose marks is in conversions of units Another thing that you must be knowing is uh, to know to know how to compare the acidic strength uh, about between elements and compounds and how to compare their boiling point and why this is high and why this is low and how the bond breaks. These are good parameter questions which comes to you. So again, for numericals, like I told you, for make, make a book in which you can write down all the formulas, all the possible conversions in one place where you can refer, you know, it's, it's like a go-to book for you where you can just go and, and get a good grip of that whenever you want to. And uh, let me take this opportunity to thank every one of you watching this video. Um, my team and I are really happy that we are able to reach out to you and we've reached 2,000 subscribers. Can you believe that? We are so happy and so delighted and we're looking forward to touch a 3,000 subscribers mark. I request you to share this video. Let it reach out to more people. Like this, share this and please subscribe to this. It means so much to us. Um, do me one favor, everybody listening. If possible, write down in the comment section have you seen the previous videos uh, what do you feel about the videos that we make is there any particular topic that you want us to make uh, and above all uh, uh, are you regularly following us or or are you happy with what the current content that we come up over here let us know we've been so delighted to hear from you do let us know that huh now there's a list of books that you have to refer right the NCRT modern ABC Tundon uh, Morrison boy concise chemistry USS uh, also target chemistry also pick up every possible past paper uh, pick up every possible MCQ that you can get that's also going to be very very helpful um, write down all the reactions all the conversions all the units and everything in one particular place you must be writing down and you should have a particular go-to place where you can just revise if you have to revise the whole of chemistry in one hour how would you do it is there a technique that you have? Is there a method that you have? And you must be devising that soon. And the biggest tip that I want to give you is revise, revise, revise. Keep revising. Never let this down. Never let this go. Chlorine and phosphorus. I want you to learn the structure of the oxy acids of chlorine and phosphorus. Uh, once you understand the structure, a lot becomes easy for you gradually thereafter. The Bohr's model of hydrogen is important. Do not miss that. In solid state, they they very particularly like to ask this con questions on calculations of units and dimensions. In gas, uh, you must learn the gas law, the real gas and Graham's law, you know. In chemical kinetics, they make it sure to ask you something on numericals, the order of the reaction, the activation energy and the first order reaction. Don't miss the first order reaction. Thermodynamics ka questions lengthy rehega. Matlab, when you read it, na, aapko bahut time jayega. don't get disheartened. The question is lengthy, but the answer to it is mostly easy. So, so don't get demoralized. Students, come up and share that with me that the questions are very lengthy. In electrochemistry, you must learn the molar conductance. Equil in equilibrium, remember there's chemical equilibrium and ionic equilibrium. Lee Chatelier's principle is very important there. Now, calculation of the magnetic movement in coordination compound must the topic hai, important hai, questions aata hai isme se. Um, oxidizing property of K2Cr2O7 and KMnO4. Remember, that's also important. Isomerism of coordination compounds. Don't miss that again. 
Um, in solid state, I miss telling you this, a radius calculation is important. Radius calculation, octahedral and tetrahedral, even that is important. Metallurgy, they somehow have sulfide ores as their favorite. But any which ways, you'll have to buy heart all the ores, you'll have to buy heart all the reactions. They're very factual. Because they're factual, it makes it easy for you, right? Just read, uh, memorize, and, and get going to it. The molecular orbit theory, the MOT is important. That's where you will come to know why the orbits are split. And once you know why it is split, your concepts get clearer there and you understand. Nuclear chemistry, nothing in particular, but don't miss that topic. In atomic structure, quantum numbers, structure using hybridization is important. You get that? That's important. Um, relationship between E0 cell and with the equilibrium constant is important. Um, and with that gives free energy. That's also very important. They keep asking a lot of that. A very rare time when they ask you salt bridge. So basically these are important topics. And how do you know what is important? Very simple. First of all, keep all the question papers in front of you. Gather as much as question papers you can from what has come in the past, the mocks, etc chalk out each question to a particular chapter so look at this question and say this belongs to chapter one this belongs to chapter two this belongs to chapter one again so when you learn a particular chapter learn all the mcqs all the important questions which has come from that chapter in all the possible examinations so in that way you learn the chapter in totality make good use of this concept yes up to tips hai jisse aapko padhai karna hai lekin ye sunte rahega to kuch kaam nahi hoega na You have to actually go sit with the book, start doing. ये ज्यादा देखने से कुछ होगा नहीं आपका मार्क्स तभी आएगा when you go and apply these things. ये application is very important. So this is a part of the four videos that we are recording. This is the first video in which uh, I am giving you chemistry tips. power booster chemistry tips the next video will be released the next week in which we will do physics and then we do maths and then we will do biology so whether you are appearing for neat whether you are appearing for jee the p and the c will be applicable for both of you um, there are other videos that uh, i have made uh, in which we are giving you some question papers find out what these videos are and there are a lot of free resources that's available there uh, i hope you help us uh, reach a higher subscription level Uh, we are looking at subscribers to reach at 3000 uh, people right now we are somewhere around 2000 uh, let us know how you feel about this whole video and up until the next time we meet bye thank you